Good afternoon. This is Akanksha Shukla from IT department. Today I am going to discuss uh, one of the most important topics, which is related to the subject data analytics. What are the uh, sources and uh, nature of data? First of all, what do you mean by data? So data is uh, you can say that uh, data refers to the raw facts or figures, which doesn't uh, contains any logical meaning. So uh, first of all, what are the different sources of data for data analysis? Basically, in the subject data analytics, we are going to analyze the data, various types of data. So, from where we can collect these data? So, data collection is the process by which we can acquire, collect and extract and store the large amount of data. We can say that voluminous amount of data, which can be in any of uh, which can be in any form of data, just like it can be a structured data or unstructured data, or it can also uh, be considered as a semi-structured data. Next, in the process of big data analysis, the data collection before uh, starting to the uh, before starting or before moving forward to analyze the patterns, first of all, the primary step is data collection. Next, uh, the data which we are going to be analyzed or which is going to be analyzed it should be collected from different valid sources. So, what are these different sources? Now, here I am, I, I would uh, like to conclude one more thing that what is data and what is information. So, the data which we collect is known as the raw data which is not useful but after processing over that data or we can also say that uh, on cleaning that impure data, the data which is uh, which uh, we get after uh, the processing or after cleaning that data is known as information and uh, the information which we obtained the information which we obtained is known as knowledge and that knowledge has many meanings just like uh, it can be a knowledge can be gained in uh, any field just like uh, it can be a business knowledge or it can be a knowledge of sales or enterprise products or it can be a knowledge of disease treatment so knowledge can be regarded or can be considered from of any field so the main goal of data collection is to collect the information rich data information rich data means uh, whatever the data we are going to collect that must fulfill the uh, objective or primary goal of the target audience means uh, whatever we are going to analyze whatever whatever the purpose for which we are going to analyze the data so the data which we are going to collect must fulfill that requirement of particular organization or we can say that uh, the target audience so the data collection process starts with some uh, with asking some questions just like what type of data we are going to collect and what is the source of the collection of that particular data now most of the data which we collect are uh, classified into two types first one is qualitative data and the second one is quantitative data now what is qualitative and what is quantitative data First of all, the qualitative, first of all, I am going to discuss about qualitative data. So, the qualitative data is a group or it is a collection of non-numerical data, means uh, uh, the data which consists of textual information or uh, which is a collection of words, sentences and which is uh, and which focuses mainly on the behavior and actions of the group of another, that data is called as qualitative data and the other one is quantitative data which is in numerical form and it can be calculated using different scientific tools and sampling data. So, these two uh, these two classifications of data qualitative and quantitative generally emphasizes on the uh, textual information and numerical form. Next, uh, the actual data which we are going to collect from the different sources can be classified into two types. First one is data collection sources. The data collection sources is of two types first one is primary and the second one is secondary data now what is primary data basically the data which is original and which can be extracted directly from the official sources is considered as the primary data and this type of data is collected directly by performing some techniques 
by performing some techniques these techniques are or the methods by which we can uh, obtain the primary data are questionnaires interviews surveys and one more method is experimental method through which we can obtain the primary data now the data which we collect must be according to the demand and requirements of the target audience on which we perform the analysis otherwise it should be a burden in the data processing uh, i am going to give an example for this uh, point that for uh, suppose i have to uh, i want to collect the data of uh, particular section it1 and uh, in spite of that i am uh, in spite of that i get uh, the data of it2 so that the uh, data of it2 would be a burden for whenever i am going to process that data then i i want uh, the data of it1 but i had unfortunately i had got the data of it2 so whenever i am going to process that data then it would be a burden for me okay because that data doesn't uh, fulfill or that data which i had collected does not meet the demand and requirements of mine okay next one is to uh, collect or to observe the primary data uh, here i am going to discuss the few methods first one is interview method so the data which we collect during this process is uh, collected through the process of interviewing the target audience and uh, the person which is going to take the interview or which is going to perform that particular method is called interviewer and the person who is going to answer the interview is known as interviewee some basic business uh, or product related questions in this method what happens some basic uh, business or product related questions are asked and noted down in the form of notes audio or videos and then this data is stored for further processing which can meet the de demands and requirements of the target audience and these data can also be in the form of structured or in unstructured data just like the personal interviews or formal interviews which can be conducted through telephonic or face to face or can also be processed using email services next the next method is by which we can collect the primary data the survey method basically it is the process of research where a list of relevant questions are asked and answers are noted similarly just like an interview method the answers are noted in the form of textual audio or video format now the survey method it can be obtained both in online and offline mode like uh, through website forms and emails then the survey answers are stored for further analyzing the data just like examples are online surveys or surveys which we are going to perform through social media posts basically in the previous or in, you can say that in the previous times these surveys can also be performed in offline mode just like uh, some of the persons are coming door to door and they are asked to fill the survey forms for any for uh, taking the feedback related to any product or related to any thing just now these uh, these uh, systems can be transformed by the online system so in the online system we are going to fill the form with, with the use of social media posts next one is observation method uh, in this method we are going to collect the data in which the researcher keenly observes the behavior and practices of the target audience and in this uh, they perform this observation using some data collecting tool some data collecting tool and then they store the observed data in the form of text audio video or any other raw formats you can say that in this method the data is collected directly by posting a few questions to the participants for example if you are going to observe a group of customers and their behaviors towards a particular product so the data obtained will be sent further for future prediction or further for processing the last method is experimental method in which we are going to collect the data through performing some experiments and research and investigations means in experimental method we are going to perform some experiments and research and investigation for collecting the primary data the most frequently or the most primarily used experiment methods are crd rbd lsd and fd now the first one is crd which is the full form of crd is completely randomized design and basically it is a simple experimental design which is used in data analytics and it is based on randomization and replications means it is uh, mostly used for comparing the experiments that we are going to perform some experiments on a particular observations or on a particular data then after that we are going to 
compare the results of that experiments. So, this method in data analytics is based on randomization and the replication model. Next one is RBD. The full form of RBD is randomized block design and uh, this is a experimental design which is based on the uh, which is based on the small units just like blocks and here the random experiments are performed on each of the blocks and then results are drawn using a technique which is known as analysis of variance means ANOVA and uh, this RBD randomized block design is basically originated from the agri agriculture sector just like for, for example if we take that in agriculture we have divided the we have divided the field into some small small blocks and after that we perform the experiments on that blocks and then we can identify the or we can analyze the results that which crop can be uh, which crop can be satisfying the particular small unit of that block. So, basically this uh, experimental method is originated from the agriculture section. Next one is Latin square design LSD. This is an also uh, one of the experimental design which is equal similar to the CRD and RBD blocks but it contains the row and columns means it is an arrangement of n cross n squares which contains equal amount of rows and columns and also it contains the letters that occurs only once in a row. So, the difference can be easily found with fewer errors in the experiment in this method and uh, one of the primary example of one of the daily real experience you can see that uh, for this example is Sudoku puzzle. The last experimental method for collecting the primary data is factorial design which is also an experimental design where each experiment has two factors each with possible values and on performing trail after the combinational factors are derived here. Okay, so these uh, four methods are used or four techniques are used basically for collecting the primary data. I am going to revise all these methods. First one is interviewing method, second one is survey method, the third one is observation method and the last one is experimental method. Now, the second type of uh, second type of source uh, to collect the data is called as secondary data. Basically, it is a data which has already been collected and then it can be reused again for some valid purpose. So, secondary data is the data which has already been collected and it can be reused again for some valid purpose. Uh, it means that uh, uh, basically we have collected the data. So, I had uh, stored that data for future valid purpose, uh, for future use and for a valid purpose use. Okay. So, this type of data is previously recorded from the primary data and it has two types of sources. Uh, first one is internal source and the second one is external source. In the internal source, uh, we can say that this type of data can easily be found within the organization such as the market record, a sales record, transactions, customer data, accounting resources and uh, organizational data just like uh, student information and the cost and time consumption is less than obtaining internal source it means the cost and time which consume uh, to collect the secondary data via internal source is less because this type of data can be easily found within the organization but in external by but the method of external source the data which uh, in this uh, kind of uh, source through which we can collect the secondary data in this what happens the data which can't be found at internal organizations and can be gained through external third party resources is known as external source data. So, here external third party resources involved that is why in this kind of collection of data the cost and time consumption is more because it contains a huge amount of data. Examples of external sources are government publications, new publications, Registrar General of India, Planning Commission, International Labor Bureau and many more. Now, uh, after a while I will discuss uh, some more other sources through which we can collect the data. Other sources are first one is sensor data. Uh, just like with the advancement of the IoT devices, the sensors uh, are most prevalent in the current trend. So, the sensors of the devices collect the data which can be used for sensor data analytics and uh, which is used to track the performance and the usage of products. Just like um, in the current trend, most of, most of the things are uh, controlled by the sensors in the IoT devices just like sensors can collect the data and uh, after while the, that data can be analyzed to track the performance of the particular product. 
second one is satellite data a satellite can collect a lot of images and data in the terabytes also on daily basis and uh, the satellite data can be collected using the uh, surveillance cameras which can also be used to collect the useful information in the form of images the last one is uh, web traffic as uh, due to the fast and cheap internet facilities the many format of data can be uploaded by the users on the different platforms and it can also be predicted and collected with their permission for the data analysis okay without their permission uh, none of their data can be used for the data analysis but with the permission of the users most of the data which uh, the users can uh, provide it or with the users provide on the different platforms or over the web then that data can be used for the data analysis just like the search engines also provide their data through the keywords and queries which search mostly uh, in this um, we can say that uh, whenever we are going to search any topic over the google then what we see that a drop down list opens with the frequent asked questions and the with the frequent asked queries okay so that's all about the data and uh, the different sources of data how can we collect the primary data and how can we collect the secondary data and also i had discussed that what are the other sources through which we can collect the data thank you